So the two best club sides from the Northern and Southern Hemisphere do battle in the control of referee Stuart Cummings. Top official from this country. It's the Saints against Melbourne Storm. This is Kim Orley. Watch for the kick. No, he gives it out wide and they've got a man on the overlap. They're in. First chance, really. And it's Aaron Moore who goes in for the first try of this World Club Championship. Beautiful play out wide. They expected him to kick there, and that was the standoff. Scott Hill, superb dummy runner. It really switched the Saints defence. It all came about by that lovely play by the loose forward, Matt Ruer. Oh, that really was empty space for the centre. The Storm playing the ball very quickly. You can see that Saints are having trouble getting back in that one line of defence. Martin has found a big hole. Tony Martin's got support inside him. Evans will score. Wayne Evans will score the try for Melbourne Storm, second for the NRL Premiers. Beautiful work by the combination of the two halfbacks, Scott Hill, Kamali, and again, this dummy running, running off the ball, creating the extra man. Martin goes through, and the prop forward, Wayne Evans, you'll remember that one. But St. Helens are having trouble getting back into that defensive line. Look at that. There was two men taking one man out, and once the ball was out to Martin, back on the inside there isn't a St. Helens player within Cooey it's with Chris Joint now been in bed all week with the flu chances for two oh, that's that a high one. High. he's let the advantage go good referee in there by Stuart Cummings skill four back ball pass to Aitchison brilliant Stuart now to straighten it up and Stuart's all down no advantage for St. Helens He's gone back for the penalty. Sean Long sporting a beard in the new millennium. The Players' Player of the Year in Super League 4. Bang in front, makes no mistakes. St Helens have got the scoreboard ticking in their favour now. Saints 2, the Storm 10. Here's Scott Hill, on to Kimorley. They have such high hopes of those two. Martin! Good ball to Marcus Pai. Marcus Pai will score. Super link though. And again, Kamali in it. Bowden now wide. Martin into the space. 50-50. The crowd are moving. Pai took it well. But you must admire the speed that they offload here. And you can see he had to reach a little bit behind him. Referee Stewart Cummings quite happy with it. He was in a good good position with the official. Chance here for Watts. Watts trying to burrow his way through three. Swain at dummy half. Back it comes to Kimorley. Hill is on the angled run. Hill steps round one. Oh, fantastic try. Fantastic try from Scott Hill. Combination of the two halfbacks. Kimorley back on the inside. You see how Kimorley sucked in two players there but not the best tackle by Paul Wellens. The standoff quite easy. Watch for the confusion in the St. Helens defence. But wonderful ability here from the standoff. Gans is there for Williams. That's four tackles gone. Great tackle from Nula. Ball and all. Williams couldn't get through it. Kamal, oh yes. Kamali's pass inside to Morgan. And Dane Morgan scores the kick from Kamali, put them in this position, and it's that man again, they were confused in the defence, two men coming into the same hole, watch how Kamali picked it out, you can see how Matt Rowe was just trailing this fella behind, it made Saints hesitate the split second. Oh, Robbie Ross ankle tackle, did he just slip, brilliant pass. Brilliant, brilliant pass, and Scott Hill has got another. Not a bad pass by Kearney either. See the big fella there, sucks him in. Beautiful pass there. And Ross does exactly the same thing. As soon as he got close to him, Scott Hill, the standoff. Try number two on the night. Well, we said before this game started that Stephen Kearney classified right. as the best ball handling forward in the world, and this is the reason why. Martin got the ankle tap. 
But the fullback, Robbie Ross, had the presence of mind to offload before the defence got to him. And what a night for this fella, Scott Hill. Kearney. Offloads again, Swain. Here's Kimorley. Kimorley keeps it alive once more. And that's Lavia. Kimorley again. Oh, intercept. Martin. He's got Hoppy in support. Kimorley trying to chase him down. Hoppy. Well, it's Hoppy against the rest. And the defence just funneled back and raced back. 32 2 on the scoreline. Melbourne Storm don't want to concede a try. Long. Long. Good run and good run from Long. Wide goes to Stewart. Stewart on it goes to Smith. Smith will come back inside, it's opened up for him, to Ilangi, to Ilangi still, back it goes to Aitchison, out of the arms of Aitchison, forward pass is the referee's decision, not forward, Martin once again, Henari trying to get his way through, but Melbourne Storm don't want to concede four, Wellens, Long, Long gets it away, must score here, surely Scofford loses the ball. Well, the chance was begging. Scofford knows it as well. He had all the time in the world to try to offload it. He's saying, come on, come on, but there's nobody there. Stella's now trying to slow the Melbourne Storm down. Here's Lavia, he's away. He's got support inside him. And it's Robbie Ross. Robbie Ross will score under the sticks. Another try for Melbourne. Prime example of the difference between the two sides. The defensive quality is not all that good, but we saw a moment ago Scalthorpe looking for support. But Melbourne, they had plenty. They held off the substitute, Lavia, they went far too high, brushed him away. And the fullback, Robbie Ross, easily plumped the ball down underneath the sticks. Marquette offloads the pass. Kimoli, Bowden. Kimoli again. Scott Hill. Great ball. Moore. His try started it all, of course. Obstruction there. And well spotted by Stuart Cummings. He's had a fine game. Right, St. Helens then. Ten metres from the line. Can they make this possession? Tell Skullthorpe to Ilangi. Rumbustious run again. Aitchison. Chris Smith. Sean Long. New love. They've got the man over that. Hoppy will get the try. Fully deserved as well. Keeping the ball alive. The winger Smith did well here. Long ball. And you can see for once. The storm defence is being caught out. New love just had enough time to get on the outside. Feeds his winger well. Nothing that Watts could do about this. And Hoppy, the former New Zealand star, gets the Saints first try. Wellens to Martin. Oh, long juggles and manages to hold on. Put in a fairly risky pass, but Stewart has done well. Now Stewart's got a bit of pace. He's also got long in support. The ball has gone to ground. Chewy Lanky tries to oh, pick it up. On it. Play on. Okay, that's a zero. Wonderful play here. Meters forward that Melbourne have already made. Comes about from the quick play of the ball. Sometimes defence on the back foot, which has uh, occurred quite a lot tonight. Inventive angled running and beautiful passing. Hill has got support. Ross again. Second try for Robbie Ross. Final pass came from two tries, Scott Hill. Ross, well, St. Helens get over at the other end. And immediately, like they poked a stick into the Hornets' nest, Melbourne Storm come back at them. As soon as the opposition make a mistake, they really do keep this ball alive. They look for one moment there, the standoff Hill. They'll be looking for an individual effort to bring up that trick. But Ross goes in for his second try. 
Superb balance, this fella. Offload to the fullback. He's had a fine game. Robbie, that must have gone exactly according to plan. Yeah, uh, we thought we were going to be in for a uh, tough game tonight, and I think we got away with it pretty easily in the end. But, uh, yeah, you know, we things went our way tonight where uh, we thought that it would be a bit, little bit tougher. But in saying that, you know, I don't think the scoreline really indicated the game. So, uh, as it was, we're happy to get away with a good win. Chris, from zero to champions of the world in about three years, it's not bad going, is it? No, it's a very pleasing night, actually. A great way to start the new season and a new captain and a trophy in the first game. So it's a very positive start to the season. The new skipper, Robbie Kearns, will get his hands on the silverware. The first match that he has led the Melbourne Storm, Dave Wardell, hands the trophy across. We'll and Robbie Kearns, in the traditional manner, I'm sure, will hold the trophy aloft. Melbourne Storm are the year 2000's World Club champions.